Yes, I realize that. Hello? Hello. Hello, it's Asma, Shuggy. The boss wants to talk to you, only we're really in the call, so it won't be traced. Dig me? Here she is, boss. Ready? Okay, Shuggy. Don't use no names, though. Oh, boy, did you call at the right minute. Where are you? Some whistle snort in New Jersey. Ran coke, as it's called. Well, how you been, Shuggy? I hear you're hiding out with the seven dwarfs. Eight, and it's kind of indicated. I'd better get out of here quick. Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just that one of the professors got off the beam a little. Yeah, a slight case of Andy Hardy. <laughs> Why don't you just take his umbrella and whack him over the knuckles? <laughs> well, everything's all set, babe. The license comes through this afternoon. I got a justice to the peace all lined up. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out, how to get you here. No, I don't want you to take a train. It'd spot you like a lead dime. They'll be watching everything. Holland Tunnel, Washington Bridge. I don't even trust the highways. I don't care if I have to hook a ride on a hearse. I want to get out of here. I don't like it. I want to blow. I... Oh, well, um, what other news is there, Daddy? Everything fine at home? Is, uh, Mom all right? Uh, for Easter? Well, I, uh, I don't know, Daddy. Um, just a minute. Uh, I won't be long. Just wait in the library. Do you mind if I have a few words with your father? Sure. Um, Daddy, this is the professor I was telling you about. Mr. O'Shea, <clears throat> my name is Bertram Potts. I judge your... <laughs> Daughter has already told you of my aspirations in her regard. Say, are you crazy? Oh, you're quite right, Mr. O'Shea. It's inexcusable for one to introduce oneself to one's future father-in-law over the telephone. But before even considering entrusting your daughter's future happiness to my care, I'm sure you want to know all about me. Well, as character references, you might get in touch with the head of the Rockefeller Foundation and the president of Princeton, my own university. Well, except for occasional trouble with my left sinus, I am in excellent physical condition. Mm -hmm. How's your digestion, son? Good. I draw a salary of $3,200 per year. Uh, in the last election, I voted the straight Republican ticket. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I just had a brain flash, McNary. Why don't you say your first name is, son? Bertram. Well, Bertram, I don't know if Sugarfuss told you, but uh, she's our only child. We kind of never figured on having a professor in the family, but if that's what she wants, and that's fine with us. Well, I shall do everything I can, Mr. O'Shea, to make her happy. Just one thing more, Bertram. Mom is kind of an invalid. Doesn't do any traveling, but uh, it would just break her heart not to see Sugarfuss married. You understand that? Of course, sir. My mother is dead, but I know it would have... It would have made her happy to be present. So suppose you just bring the kid right down here. We want to see you, and let's have the ceremony in our hometown. Why, of course, Mr. O'Shea. May I call you father, Mr. O'Shea? <laughs> Thank you, father. That is better than I hoped for. Father wants to talk to you. Well, Shuggy, this solves your transportation. That jack was made to order. Who's going to stop the Rockefeller Foundation at Princeton University? And suppose you get a couple of the other old beavers to come along in the car. Maybe there's some other way. I don't want to take them for that kind of a ride. Oh, that's quite all right. I'll take a couple of days off. <laughs> yeah, we all will. Good idea. I... Cut out the men kink it, Shuggy. This gets you to Rancocas. Once you're here, we'll give the professor the boot, easy like, where it won't blind him. I don't want any discussions. Just one thing. Watch out for the Washington Bridge. That'll be swarming with cops. Hello? Hello? Oh. What's the matter, my dear? Oh, he's always in such a rush. Well, which is my great good fortune. The sooner the better. Gentlemen, I now have...